Welcome. In this section, I'll show you how to make a 3D model. So we start off with exercise one. So here you can see I have a, a drawing, an isometric drawing. Okay, so we'll try to construct a 3D model with this. Okay, so uh, click on sketch, select a plane, click OK. So I'll draw rectangles. So this is a Z shape, okay. So I'll first draw the Z shape. Now we'll constrain it. Give the required dimensions. So uh, double click on this dimension. The height, so this length is 40 and the height is 8. So this eight is throughout in here. Okay. So throughout the profile, it's eight mm thickness. So we'll give eight. And this length, total length will be sixty-six. And from here, it will be sixty-six minus eight. Okay, that will be 58. Close it. And the thickness will also be 8. So here we have given this rectangle's length is 35. And also the height is also as 8. We'll take this as 35. Enter. Close it. 8. Enter. Close it. So finish the sketch. Give it an isometric view. And now extrude it. Extrude your profile to a thickness of 30 mm. Okay, so since we have this in between lines, this is not considering this sketch, so we'll trim these lines off. So go to quick trim and click on here. Also in here, again, so this is a completely closed sketch, finish it. Now we can extrude this profile. To a distance of 30 mm, click on OK. So now we need to draw the cylinder on top. Select sketch, select the top top face, click OK. Draw a circle at random. You can constrain it later. So this is the diameter, it is 22, so the diameter, first we are going to draw the outer cylinder, it is the outer circle, 22 dia, we will extrude it to a distance of 12 and then we will select the top face and then draw the through hole, that is how it should be done. So we have the position of the circle, so it is 25 from here. And this position is given the center mark, okay? So we'll assume it as 15. So you take this one as 25. Yeah, 25 from this line. And this position will be 
15. Close. Finish the sketch. Click on end. Extrude it to a distance of 12 mm. Now give the axis. So here it is Z. I should select ZC. The value will be 12 mm. Click on, make sure it's in Boolean Unite. Okay, and click on OK. Now, now we'll draw the through hole, 14 dia through hole. Click on Sketch, select the top face, click on OK. Draw another circle from the center. Give the diameter. S14 and close it. Finish the sketch. Go to isometric. Extrude it. Give reverse direction. And here you can give the value either 12 plus 8 is 20 or you can give 20 and in boolean select subtract. Click on it. Right? So we have constructed a through hole. Now, now I need to draw this stiffener or rib in here. So for that I need a plane. Okay, so I'll offset a plane from this face. Go to datum plane. Select this face. And the offset value will be 15. We are assuming it exactly in the center. So 15, a reverse direction. Click on OK. Now select your datum plane. Click on sketch. Click on OK. Now just draw a the, the the slant line okay and escape go to dimensions linear dimension so here we have the base at exactly 23 from this point so we'll give that dimension first so from here this point So it, uh, the, this point is at a distance of 23 mm. Okay. And this point is at a dis it's a, is at a height of 42 from this line. So we'll give 42. Enter. Close it. So we have now perfectly drawn the model for the rib. So we'll just select the rib command and we'll create the model. So in your mode you can go for rib. Otherwise in your menu under insert under design feature. Yeah, design feature you have rib. Click on rib. Yeah. Now give the value. So here it is says that it is 6 mm. So it is symmetric assumption. So click on 6. Click on 8. Hide the sketch. Keep it an isometric. So I hope that you have understood how to make this model an exercise one. So we have successfully completed this exercise. Thank you very much for watching.